Welcome to Bethel Moodle Tutorials. In this brief tutorial, I want to demonstrate how to grade a discussion forum using two features, the Search Forums tool and a grading rubric created in an offline assignment. So really, there's two windows I'm going to have here. One, I'm actually going to search the forum. And I'm going to search for each of my students. So the first step is actually to do that. So I'm ready to go. I'm in my course. So I'm going to click on the advanced search in the search forums. Now, if you don't have the search forum box open, you'll have to add it using the add block menu over here. So I'm going to go ahead and search. And I'm going to search for Ben because I know that he's one of my students. And well, let me hit the advanced search. And what I actually want to do is I want to select just one forum. So there's actually a, my one forum here. I've got a standard forum set up. So I select the forum I want. And then I search for the author. So let me say I'll search for Ben. And what it does is it brings up all the forums for that particular learner on one or two pages. So he actually has posted twice, it looks like. And it brings up all of those forums. I can then use the rubric to grade those. So I may want to actually just go ahead and read through them. I know the criterion I'm looking for. And then I can switch to my rubric, which I've opened in another tab, or I will open in another tab here. So here's my forum grade. And I've set it up as a, a two-dimensional rubric. And click view all grade submissions. And let me go to Benjamin Moodle here and click in his column on the grade icon. And then I've got my rubric. So I can go ahead and just go ahead and enlarge this a little bit maybe. See the whole rubric. And go ahead now and grade it. So. Nope, there's only two posts. Oh, one was good. And then the other was, yep, there was just one reply. So there wasn't two replies. So I can do that. And then I can actually put some comments down here in the comments box as well. And then I can submit that. And then I can save and show the next. I could then actually go to my next student. And Jane hasn't submitted anything yet, so I'll skip her. So I'll just go next. And the next one is Mary Moodle. So let's go back to Mary's here. And again, I will do the search. So I'll click up here in the breadcrumbs on search again. It takes me back to my search. I'll select the form again and then search for Mary, search for hers. And again, now she's got just two posts. So I can go ahead and, and grade hers, read through them, and use the rubric in the same way. Go back to the rubric now. And just two posts. Yep, and just one reply. And put again a comment. And then that looks like I'm at the end of my list of students, so I can just click Save Changes. And of course, then it puts the students' grades in. It puts the comments I put in the comments box in the feedback comments. And that's really all there is to it. It's kind of nice to use the Search Forums tool. And you can easily then click back and forth once you get to the end of the next one. Click to the next student, select the forum, and type in the next one. So Jane's another student in here. So let's just look here. And she has no posts. So you can see how easy it is to do and just go from student to student. So use the search forum, use a rubric, and your forum grading becomes a cinch.